take a look at the RU251 and uh, this is how to complete your light tank mission although I don't complete it here because of uh, some reasons I'm, I'm very close to it so I shall see you how I shall show you how to complete your light tank 15 and uh, also to make you guys feel better who haven't completed yet uh, it's for the T55A where you have to do 7k damage uh, or spotting or tracking or doing it yourself uh, it has to add up to 7k it is a quite big uh, it's quite a big number really and we're gonna see how I'm going to do this again the RU251 one of the best light tanks in the game so should shouldn't be too hard really but uh, I would definitely have preferred if I was to have uh, maybe let's say another tank such as the T49 in some situations if you get the luck then T49 will certainly uh, maybe do well but it uh, doesn't matter the RU is more reliable and here I try to load some gold because the ISX isn't normally the the easiest target to to crack and this is why I hate this game sometimes if you think about it, if I'm in the ISX position I would be really pissed wouldn't I because a light tank can pen a heavy tank frontally and I think that is just annoying about war tanks. I think they should really rebalance this issue. So I load AP right for the Black Prince thinking I don't really need heat. Then I don't pen him for two times but I'm trying to do my mission. Normally I probably wouldn't have fired the heat since it's quite expensive as well uh, but now I, I really want to because I know that I can quite likely do my mission here and I don't find another shot on that guy. Oh. WZ maybe yeah one shot there and suddenly I just switch back to AP so I don't want to spam heat all the time but when it's needed it's needed bounce there on the IS6 if I did fire gold there I could have done my mission there uh, but I didn't so again it's all about decision right gotta go for the WZ132 so I go for him loading heat HE so you can see very uh, well how I'm using different ammo types in this RU very effectively in fact um, he, different type of round for different targets for example definitely would want to use HE and then I get my loader taken out and you get like a Ferdinand down there who, who just camps at base I'm fine with that but type 59 that, that's gonna be tough but my AP round does pen him anyway because it's RU251 after all if I do aim it will plant the shots right into his upper plate which will pen him so now I'm thinking how am I supposed to kill that M103 oh I track him so m making it all the easier and oh type type maybe come out now so I did track him there I've won almost 4k damage I know I can easily do my mission right now just gotta do a bit more. Hopefully, I tr I did spot a few extra enemies, and here's where I do bad. I try to climb up here, but realized I didn't have quite the gun elevation. Um, so you got the Ferdinand here. I, I really have to take him out uh, to make it 4k damage, and then I would only need three more k. But God knows how much spotting I've actually done. So I go quite aggressive. Oh oh, that was close. And there goes your tracks. I took his tracks off. And now I don't really mind if my team does any damage because I'm just perma tracking this guy and I get all the damage out of this Freddy now. It doesn't matter if my team does damage, all counts towards my Toto. And now I've, I know that I've tracked two people, uh, but at the time I'm not sure how, many, how much damage I've done. So when you're doing your mission make sure you plant your shots into the tracks just to guarantee that you you will do maximum amount of damage that counts towards you plants a HE round there as you can see I'm really careful with my choice of shots HE very important you if you make it work it will work very very well in fact and at that time I saw that there was Amex 30 uh, the Borsig and 2RT and it's, it's easy to pen all of them with HE because the HE round on this tank is very unique and you gotta make sure you know your tanks well oh 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 that's only 100 damage that's not good Borsig misses me I, I'm, I'm not sure if I wanna go 
finish that FE off because, you know, he could just end my good luck there. How did I bounce on that Borzig? How? If I did, if I didn't bounce that, I could have done my mission as well. But you know what? World of Tanks is saying, "Fuck me," and I'm not gonna do it because of that reason. You can see I'm almost on really high damage now, almost 5k known damage. God knows how much I've actually done, including all the spotting and all the assistance I've done. At this time, I was pretty confident that I will be able to do my mission. So as you can see, I come around here, but I know that the AMX is more dangerous. So what I do is cut one shot into him, and then AMX kill him, and don't get the, quite get the chance to kill that Borsig there, and that's GG. I I thought I did it with 5.2k damage and maybe a bit more spotting, and I turned out I did 1.4k, uh, 1.4k assistance, which is so annoying. I'm just inches away from the mission, and hopefully this will give you guys some some mental support as well because you probably have been suffering just like I am getting so close but not close enough so we shall see you next time